Good morning everybody, Victor here from beautiful Panama City. We got Joshua from Heritage Excursions, his wife Lauren, and the best part is we got all of Brooke's family with us today. We're ready. So we got the whole crew, we got Brookie behind the camera, we're gonna have an action-packed day for you guys. We're gonna head about 50 miles offshore, and this is the guy who put you on monsters. Gag grouper, big red snapper, both are open in season, so we're gonna have a great day offshore. We'll see you out there. So Josh just picked us up from the house we're staying at. It's actually called Benita Cottage. I'm gonna have all of Josh's stuff as well as Benita Cottage's stuff linked below. Before we head offshore, they got these cool little bait boats, kind of like we have on the East Coast. You guys see right there, we're gonna stop by and get some cigar minnows. We got plenty of pinfish in the well. So those are our pinfish. Great snapper grouper bait. And up here in the panhandle, they call them chofers. Watch how quick I catch this bait, Adam. Watch this. <laughs> Look, I just caught a whole net full right there. We've been a northern, so I gave you a lot of action. You man, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. First, Man, you listen, my rail you, you guys don't understand. Josh was just giving a tutorial to everyone, like explaining what to do. He got bit on a bear hook. I just dropped down the jig, didn't even jig it. As soon as I started reeling, I had something on. So I think it's safe to say we're in a good spot. I have no idea what it is. Incredible, huh? Fish are very hungry today. Are you, Are you kidding, kidding me? me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Keep your red grouper on the jig. First drop, Josh. That's a nice one. Look at that. Let's go. That's a keeper right, right there. Right, right, right. You can't fake this. Drop down with the Mustad vertical jig. This is a Daggerman jig. I'm going to have a link below for you guys. And you guys can save 20% off using my code Landshark. So we got. Brick's entire family going down, live pinfish, dead bait, all sorts of stuff. Beautiful keeper, red grouper on the very first drop. Didn't even get a chance to jig the jig. Hey, Josh, get in here. My man. <laughs> Look at that. This guy knows what's up. They were trying to eat the lead when I was giving the tutorial. It's, in, it's incredible. <laughs> Turn loose. So we got mom hooked up. I just got this little one on the jig. I'm gonna let him go because even though he's a keeper, there's they're just biting too good. Little little every single time. I've dropped down three times, three fish. It's unbelievable. So we got this thing called a rally basket, what Josh calls it. When the fishing's good, these fish could turn off any second, so we're trying to catch as many as possible. We put in this little rally basket right here. And when one fish sees another fish being caught, usually it doesn't scare them. It usually turns them on. They get all curious. They see all the commotion. And so we're just piling them in the boat right now. I can't even film everyone's fish because it's like every single person's hooked up. Fish are just coming over the rail every second. Keeper red, another keeper red grouper on the jig. Red snapper. Red, red snapper. Look at this. Another keeper red snapper. All yeah, thanks to Josh. This. Every single person on the boat is catching fish left and right. Everyone's having a really good time. Oh man, did he swim down nice. When did you start recording? And Literally, you have I haven't stopped in 15 minutes. Okay, so Brick's been recording for 15 minutes. Look at that basket. Incredible. My man. I mean, you can't ask for a better time than that. No, that's as good as it gets right there. That's rally stop. Whatever you guys don't see in my video, you guys can find in Brookie's video, which I'm gonna have linked below. We're gonna film two videos, maybe even four videos for you guys from this trip. There's just so much action to split across. Yeah, and make sure you watch both because we're not gonna repeat footage. So yes. it's like two awesome nonstop action videos. So check them out. <laughs> First drop just, on the jig. Just like Victor said. That's incredible. It is, it is incredible. You couldn't possibly want a better Oh man, that's a good fish, Fisher. He has a good one. Okay. Get him up, get him up. You guys, this is Fisher's first time vertical jigging. This is how good these jigs are, and this is how good this spot is. Fisher, you have a big fish. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. 
Yeah, this this spot's no joke. I I've never I'll probably never see fishing like this again in my life. Let him get you in the rack. He's getting him out. Dude, you got this. No, Fisher. What happened? It, it almost felt like it, it cut off. Did it feel like? Yeah, that's what it felt like. You guys, that was, I think that was a big gag grouper right there. That's what I think it was. Got him in the wreck, but you were doing good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, I don't know what to say except I look across the boat and see my whole family with sm grins and smiles from ear to ear. And that just makes me so happy. I don't know what to say about it. Unbelievable action and the quality of the fish. This fishingery here in Panama City, I, I knew it was good for watching your other videos, but now I experienced it. It's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the best part is now Jed and Fisher, instead of just eating the fish, they're catching them with us. Yeah, buddy. That's going to be special. That's going to be a special meal. Something we always do is we slush our fish. We put them in an ice bath, a brine, a chill box. Ice is cheap. There's no reason not to take good care of your fish. It makes them easier to clean later. Big, nice red grouper fish you're caught here. Fire truck. Big, beautiful red snapper. Big old red grouper again. This is a scamp. That's some of our favorite eating right there. My mom will shoot you over that fish. <laughs> Fisher, nice job on that record. Bro. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like uh, someone knows what they're doing on this boat. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just resetting on the same spot. Shout out to Lauren, biggest red snapper of the trip so far. <laughs> so far. I know the Jetster's hooked up, of course. Yes, sir. An oh, another nice snapper. porgy. These are what we call white snappers. They're just a variety of porgy. They got some pretty blue lines on them. They're great eat, man. They're overlooked fish, but I love them. They make great tacos. Oh, baby. She's yanking. We have determined its gender. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, Jed. Yes, sir. He's hooked nice in the lip. Yeah. So he's a good one to throw back. He's going to swim down nice. Look at that. Right to the bottom. Oh, you got Doubled up! Come on, Mom, get him, get him, get him! Oh, that's, that's a good boy, one. Mom. Fisher and Deb hooked up at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah! Mom, that's a good one! You got a big red snapper, probably. Easy, Lauren, you got him now. And lower behind you. Oh, my goodness. This one's not as live. Oh, Holy trigger wow. fish! Wow! Where was that guy a couple right? months ago? Yep. Two days ago. We we'll kiss him goodbye. On the lips? Yep. <laughs> Another red size. snapper. A stud red snapper fisher. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Father and son catching red snapper and gag grouper together. Look at that. It's fun, man. Smiles, smiles all around. That's a nice fish. Josh is making dreams come true out here. It's like going to Disney World for adults. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was the the same spot, just the second drop. Fish, I got a stud red snapper on the jig. So we got one more red snapper. These are red porgy. We have these on the east coast. We don't have a lot of them but they're pretty plentiful over here. They call them white snapper up here. So I found this place last year and as soon as we hit the bottom, we caught three big black groupers and a handful of really big snappers. So I was telling everybody, as soon as they hit the bottom, be ready for a bite. Don't be fumbling for your reel. It's gonna be on if it's there. And what they call black grouper is gag groupers. They call gag groupers black groupers. We call black groupers black groupers. So what do you call black grouper? A Schneider. You guys got all sorts of funky nicknames up here. Don't off. First bite was a big bite. A lot deeper. We're in one night now. Oh, <gasps> big shark, shark, Josh, right there. Ate our fish right there. Well, sharks on the East Coast, sharks on the West Coast, sharks in the Gulf. You can't escape them. Hooked up big time too. Catching more. Big time, big time. Oh. Oh. 
That looks painful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, old son. <laughs> Big old rocket. <laughs> you gonna hoist him over your shoulder? Yeah, man. Nice! That's a nice good one. one. That's the second biggest one of the day, I think. Nice. Get shooting at you. Yeah. Look at that. Fighting good. We were prospecting a new spot. And we thought it was all trigger fish. I dropped down the jig. Josh said to test it out. And hook something big. 200 feet of water. Moving around spots. And we just got our limited red snapper about 15 minutes ago. Gonna be a big red snapper or a dad. Nothing like it out here with Josh. Except I'm disobeying the rules. <laughs> Armpits are for deodorant, right? The only thing that goes under your arms is crutches and deodorant. Nice. Woo, look at that one. Oh, look at, what did he just pop up? Wow. Chauffeur. Beautiful red snapper. And that's not fake news, that's real. That's that mustad jig we've been fishing all day. And it's honestly done equally as well as the live bait today. So much fun. All thanks to this guy right here. Captain Josh, nice put you on him. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yes. For all you guys who say we don't release fish, look at this. Look at that, that's a 10, 11 pound red snapper. Being <laughs> released back into the gone. water. <laughs> just like that. It's probably a four pound, close to four pound vermilion. I mean, just gorgeous fish. Very flaky meat. I'd say a little bit firmer than yellowtail. The common theme with this type of fishing, it's great for the family. You guys see Brooke's mom, brothers, Josh's wife is out here. Everyone's having a good time. Nothing stressful about it. Yeah, I feel a lot of lines, Josh. Oh, yeah. Big red snapper. Oh, boy. Stud red snapper. And no, though we have our limit already, so we're going to have to release this guy. I'm going to vent him, send him on his way. Good fish, good fish on a mackerel. This is good. Oh my gosh, if I don't get this thing up. This is gonna be a grouper. Come on, Vic, you gotta get this fish. You gotta get this fish. Get it before that shark goes. He's charging up. Probably getting. Shark chasing. Yeah, I think he's getting shark <laughs> chased. I got the shark. Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, that was a grouper. Out of everything I've hooked today, that fish pulled more drag than everything. That was on a big mackerel. Can't catch a break from the sharks. No matter where we go, they follow us around. It's sad because you come out here, you might hook one grouper, there might be one grouper down here and you lose it to a shark, and that was your shot. So instead of letting that fish live, now the shark gets fed, and now he thinks he's gonna get another meal, and the next time he sees a bait down there, and the next time he sees a boat, just a vicious cycle. The other problem with the sharks is, is we try everything we can to manage our fish, take care of our spots, not overfish them, but we've got to catch three fish to feed two of them to the shark to catch them. It's absurd. It's like the worst management practice ever, and I need to do something about the sharks. One of the reasons you guys see me jigging so much on this trip is because last year I caught my biggest ever gag grouper on this boat, on this very rod and reel with Josh and it ate a jig. It's just non-stop action out here. Whether you're live baiting or throwing the jig. When I throw the jig and I, I work it for these snapper, I like to work it kind of nice and slow. Just bob it up and down. Because these fish are on bottom, so they're feeding on bottom. One of the many, many red snapper from today. Converted your entire family to golf fishing with one yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's red. Look at that. Look at that. Living there? Yeah, I'll go. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, Lauren. So last year when we fished with Josh Brookie was saying we caught one red grouper. This trip we've caught a ton of red grouper and really good sized ones. Fisher's red grouper is the biggest one I've ever seen. Yes, sir. Look at that. 
Nice keeper red grouper all blown up. Absolutely epic day. Everybody hold your fish up. We got a lot of people on their first fish. We had a ton of fun. Debbie killed it. Fisher, Jed, Brian, Brookie, and all thanks to the dream team right here. <laughs> Josh she makes and a Lauren. Good I'm gonna have all of Josh's stuff linked below once again for you guys. If you've never been to Panama City, it's a beautiful city. It's very homey. Uh, a huge family vibe and you guys see this day was all about the family. I'm Cole. Pleasure nice to meet, meet you. I, I think I saw your fish in the fish house. They were like, there's famous YouTubers over there. And I was like, <laughs> who? And then Land Shark Outdoors and I just ran over here to see you guys. That is that's awesome. That's hey, good to it's hear. people like you that keep it going, so thank you. Oh, absolutely, man. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Just keep doing what you're doing and I, I love your videos, man. Thank you. Love thank you. Well, anyway, you guys have a great day. I'll get out of your room. <laughs> If you guys haven't liked this video yet, like it, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, it costs you nothing, and then you guys will know the next time we upload a video. It's always a treat when we go up here and catch these red snapper with Josh, because look at how beautiful this fish is. I mean, we have red snapper on the East Coast, but nothing like the fishery over here. And I did gut this thing because we were going to wait a few days to fillet it, and that's why all that flowed out of there. So, 8-inch Dexter wide fillet knife. Great knife for filleting bigger snapper and grouper. Working my way down from the head to the tail. Just look at those big scales fly off of this thing. These red snapper kind of remind me of like a big saltwater goldfish. Just real pretty. Break through the pin bones over that rib cage, other side of the backbone. There you go. Look at that red snapper fly. The house we're staying at is a really neat house called Bonita Cottage. It sleeps a ton of people. You guys see we got this beautiful dock, you got a boat slip, paddle boards. We've just been enjoying our time in the backyard. If you guys are looking for a place to stay in Panama City, I'm going to have more details of this house posted below if you guys are interested in booking. You got the water here. We've been able to catch crabs, sea trout, all sorts of stuff. There we go. Two sides of the red snapper. I don't know about you guys, but I am very hungry looking at this. And also, if you're interested, Dexter knives, best knives for the buck. Made in USA, and you guys can save 20% off. Use my code Landshark. Catch you guys in the kitchen. We got 12 really beautiful pieces a red snapper. We're going to do a quick high heat pan sear, get that crust on it. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, coriander. Ricky made a lunch with the exact same seasonings and it was delicious. So earlier I cut up some beautiful tomatoes. We're going to coat them in a little bit of cilantro. It's going to be a nice little complement to our fish, really brighten up the dish. And then earlier, Ricky made a little orange glaze. And I'm using the leftover, mixed it with some olive oil and some apple cider vinegar. It's a sweet, also very tangy, acidic type vinaigrette. And we're gonna just coat our tomatoes in that. We're just gonna toss our tomato. I don't know if you, what would you call it. You call it a uh, tomato salsa, a tomato salad. Look at all those beautiful colors. Huh? So I'm gonna make a little black rice, got some onion sauteing. I want them to get them nice and crisp. Got them with some butter and olive oil. Going in with a generous amount of garlic. Gonna just cook that until we can smell it real quick. I'm gonna go in with the black rice. And water. Okay, so we got two really hot pans right here going down with some olive oil. 
We're gonna do a nice high heat sear on these guys. Season side down because that's gonna be your seared side. That's where you want that crust to develop. Okay, we're gonna go down with some black rice. We got some roasted turnips and potatoes. So we just went down with some carrot ginger puree. Okay, now our tomato vinaigrette. You got your friend, Dad? Yep. <laughs> Star of the show, the Red Snapper. Probably the best lunch I've ever had. A little scallion garnish. So the best part about this dish is not the dish, but all these people right here, and especially this man right here and his wife. Lauren and Josh, none of this would be possible without them, but wanted to make them a nice special meal. So we have some pan seared red snapper, black rice, some roasted turnips and potatoes, carrot ginger puree, and a little tomato vinaigrette, and a little scallion to finish. There's been times where Victor's cooked for six people a lot of times, and eight people, occasionally 10. 12 is the most plates you've ever done at one time, and I think you did pretty good. So, Thank you, babe. haven't even tried it yet, but just <laughs> the plating of 12 at the same time. Good job. Thank you. This red snapper is amazing. amazing. It's amazing. What do we think? Amazing. amazing. I don't even like carrots, and I'll eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to try the rice first. It just. That's good. Yeah. Josh, I don't like turnips and that's good. <laughs> turnips or carrots. I'm going to eat everything on the plate again. I think the common theme is you don't like vegetables. Yeah. How'd you know? Very common. It's good for you. I probably won't eat it. <laughs> My mom did that to me. Great as always, but I think it was pretty amazing today. I don't know if Victor does this often, but I've never seen him cook in front of this many people. And his confidence in the kitchen is pretty remarkable it was uh it's fun to watch victor's super good behind a reel and he's just as good in the kitchen and that's really what kind of seals the whole thing because a great fishing trip is amazing but be able to bring everyone back here to eat it at the end of the week is uh is something special that i don't think a lot of people get to do and and victor helped bring us all bring us all here I don't think you're gonna top that one. No. Yeah. That was good. No, who's gonna top that one? Fish? Come on. <laughs> He's your son. <laughs> he did. He did good. I, I don't know if I could add. To, I'm not even gonna try to add yeah, to that. Right. Wendell is a very picky eater, and he's eating it, so you know it's good. <laughs> so here we are again. You know, I always preach this is what it's about, and it really is. Last time we came, a big family meal. This time when Victor and Brooke came, I told him so. I want you to bring the whole family. I watch this channel all the time. I see Brian, Deb, the boys, all the time. And, and you know, they normally come, it's just the two of us, and we gotta bring the whole family. We're selling a family experience here. And here we are, we've got the entire Chris family, my mom, Simeon, my father-in-law, my wife, and my son. This is what I want you to come be a part of. I want you to come, catch these fish, go home, make these memories, and share these moments with your family. So check us out. We're here for you. Cheers to memories. I made a, I made a lot of nice memories on this trip, Josh. You know, thanks to you and your wife and uh, Victor and Brooke for bringing our family here. We, you know, we we just had a terrific time. So cheers to memories. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> it's all this that comes together. Josh's son, little Wendell, back there. He's gonna be doing the same thing for his family one day and it's nice to see everything just come full circle. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna book a trip with Josh, I'm gonna have all of his stuff linked below. You will not regret it. We'll catch you in the next one.